Grizzly D is in the house. Yeah. Welcome, guys. We are back. We are back in another Blue Hunting video that I haven't done in s long during this fucking coronavirus. So now I'm like, take it anymore i'm gonna buy some new blu-rays there's a lot of new releases that i missed so i'm thinking of buying those and guess who else is back ethan looking like he's so tired <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> because he, i just picking him yeah. up from the station right now he has a long journey ahead of him mm -hmm. but now he sacrificed himself to do blu-ray hunting with me yeah so you're in ethan get more blu-rays because you know i'm, I'm starting to rat out of space so yeah gonna, so what are you aiming I'm gonna for freaking i don't know like, there, there's stop. a lot of deals at JB Hi-Fi right now. Yeah, there's like 3 for 40, 2 for 20, stuff like that. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm planning to buy, like, the new releases that I haven't picked up yet. I know Star Wars came out. I know um, Bad Boys came out a while ago and 1917, so I'm thinking of picking up those. And maybe pick up some more stuff from High Point, I guess, because there's a lot more stores than High Point. So, yeah. so yeah, we're going to go to High Point right now. Not Water Guns this time. Let's go to High Point now, somewhere different. So... You ready to do this blue hunting adventure, Ethan? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> yeah! So we're here, guys, at High Point right now. We're going in, and let's just see where we can go. So, yeah. So first we're going to That's Hot, which is a figure store. So let's have a look. So we're in That's Hot right now. There's so many cool figures here. Like, we've got the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figure. That looks freaking cool, Raphael. That looks amazing for 50 bucks. So... Yeah, but I already got some Ninja Turtle figures, and we got some Game of Thrones figures, and Breaking Bad, and ooh, we got kick-ass figures, and I needed Hit Girl, but look at that. <laughs> Looks kind of hideous. But yeah, it is some really cool stuff here. I would recommend to come in this store. That's hot. It's a really good store. So I even found something. What yeah, did you find, Ethan? Bob from Twin Peaks. Oh, it looks pretty sick. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, is there any other ones behind? Or is it's just... Cool pop oh, it's just, oh it's, just, it's just Audrey and dead Laura. Yeah, it's I haven't nothing seen... Else. I haven't seen Twin Peaks. It's a good show. It's I heard great things about that yeah, show. it's a great show. Yeah. <laughs> so Ethan found another thing that's uh, really cool. Yeah. Whammy! Oh, yes, Anchorman. That's a classic. Yeah. Yeah, but pretty much yeah, there's nothing really much here. Oh, they have this dude. Oh, we got the Anchorman himself. They have... No, it's not. It's the other dude. Oh, that's cool. So, Ethan found some James Bond figures. But it's only just... It's only just odd job. They don't have... No, they don't else. have the actual Bond, but there's a no, lot of cool ones here. Don't. We got Napoleon Dynamite, which is one of my favorite comedies. Deb. If you haven't seen the point down, I might check it out. It's, one, it's to me one of my favorite comedies. So we've got Mad Max Fury Road, look at that. We've got, we've got what the characters are. We've got Nicholas Holt. Yeah, but so far there's really nothing. Yeah, yeah. but it's a really cool store. You should check yeah. out That's Hard. It's a really good store. So I just got out of That's Hard and we didn't get anything from there. But there were some really good figures there. Like, there's some cool ones, right, Ethan? Yeah, yeah. There are some really, really good ones. So. Now let's just go to the main part. Let's go to JB Hi-Fi and see what we got, right, Ethan? Mm. Yeah! JB Hi-Fi! So we got so many new releases that I missed out. We got 1917 that I'm definitely gonna pick up. We got Midway, we got Jumanji. Look at that, Jumanji. And Star Wars, The Rust of Skywalker, I'll definitely pick up. And also, another movie I wanna pick up is, I forgot where it is, oh, here we go. Bad Boys for Life. Definitely got a pickup, so I really got my pickups for the day, but let's see what Ethan wants. So we're trying to find out what Ethan wants. There's a deal here. Is this another deal? Nah, that's another deal here. Yeah. Nice slip cover though, what is that? Cinema yeah, Cole. Yeah, Cinema Cole. Remember the last time? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ethan has found Final Destination. Yeah, but it has like all the movies on there. Yeah, I only that's... like the, the first one, I think. Out of the but it's like 20 bucks for like five films. Yeah. And there was another one, was it? Have the screen I don't know. Because I remember, what was his name? Dave Lee. Dave Lee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You found it? 20 bucks. Oh, Scream. So all yeah, the, all the Scream that. movies. I got that as well, the Scream movies. There you go. So yeah, yeah I'm he's getting, got his I'm pickups. Gonna, well, <laughs> that's 40 bucks there. Yeah, <laughs> so far. But yeah. let's see what else there is. We got 8mm with Nicholas Cage. Which I, I see this one everywhere. It's just like I should definitely. Get this. I heard that Nicolas Cage is going to be the new Tiger King. Is it? How do you feel about that? I don't know. <laughs> you just don't know. We'll just I don't know. Any, I don't know anything about Tiger King. Uh, I haven't seen Tiger King either, but I heard I really. Don't, I don't care. I heard really weird things about it, so probably I'll get it. Yeah. Probably I'll watch it sometime, but probably not now because I'm not into TV shows all that much, to be honest. So yeah, 
He's got more pickups than I thought Ethan would get. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. He loves horror movies as well. So. Oh yeah, some. It's not my favorite well, genre. Why would you? Like, why would you consider your favorite? Don't know. Don't know. I that, don't know. I heard that movie's really good. Don't know. Yeah, sure. <laughs> we got the lighthouse, but only on DVD. There's no lighthouse on Blu-ray. Like, how do you feel about that, Ethan? Yep. Shame. 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 Very shameful. That's a huge shame. Yeah, I would probably get it, but yeah, maybe I should just buy the Blu-ray on Amazon or eBay. Mm -hmm. Because I don't buy DVDs anymore. Div I. DVDs well, are just like I barely, barely buy DVDs. Like I one, I bought one recently. But Sometimes like, I just buy them from the market because they don't come full Blu-rays. But I don't even care. I hate DVDs. So yeah, we got the Plenty Edge box set. I love, I love those movies. The they don't have the older ones. Yeah, I'm trying to get the old ones because like I, have, I have War of the Planet of the Apes and Steelbook because I wanted to get the Steelbook because it was cheap. I love the Steelbook. And I got the Steelbook as so well. So I thought like I get like the Primal Collection, which goes up from it goes from like um, the first film up until Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Yeah. And then it would just fit in perfectly. Yeah. And that's, we that's <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to pick up Pretty Woman. No. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, you love that movie? <laughs> Is it oh, good? <laughs> nah, I don't know. Ten I'm bucks! Saying. Ten bucks for this. What is that? Free poison. Ten bucks! Okay. Why not? And we also got Playing With Fire with John freaking Cena and you can't see him. So, yeah, that's all I can say about that movie. And we got The Prison Rose. Poison Rose with John Travolta and Morgan Freeman. Weird casting. Check this out, Ethan. These are all Star Wars individual oh, I covers. I don't care. But they look cool though. Like, yeah, they look cool. They look cool, and we got the Empire Strikes Back steelbook right there with the Stormtrooper. That looks freaking sick, but yeah, I got the box set anyway, so I can't buy it individually. But those covers are pretty sweet, though, in my opinion. What's wrong with double dipping? <laughs> <laughs> we also got the ribbon section with Blake Lively, but also Richard Jewell by Clean Eastwood. Have you seen that? Richard Jewell? No, I haven't. That's a really good movie. That's a very underrated movie. It's probably the most underrated movie of this entire year, so I will recommend you guys watching that film we're in the classic section right now and there are some really good movies on here like singing in the rain which i remember seeing that with my grandma yeah. not in the theater i wasn't live then no. but like my grandma showed me in, and it's really good and sound of music of course childhood yeah. classic but here's one of my favorite films 2001 space odyssey by stanley kubrick one of the best films in my opinion of all time and i didn't put on my favorite movies and because there's too much movies i love yeah. But yeah, what did you think about 2001? Yeah, and also, what is Heat Rave? Well, that looks cool. Written in the wind. On the wind. On the wind. <laughs> and Wizard of Oz is a goddamn classic. Wizard of yeah. Oz is a movie that I can watch all over again. So it's actually on my favorite movies of all time list. On my top yeah, 30. I thought, I thought um, freaking these movies were on the, um, the 2 for 20 deal. I thought. Mm. But you got so much Should've, movies, dude. Yeah, like, holy shit. So, up, yeah. we gotta find out what Ethan's got at the end of this video. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so Ethan found all Back to the Future. Oh my god. Yeah. He's going crazy today. This is so much better than the last Blue Hunting we did. You only bought like one thing, basically. So now you got all this shit to show everyone. Yep, this is like. This the, is a lot. This can this tells that he misses JB Hi Fi in yeah, the quarantine so much. so much. I mean, it's, I'm buying stuff online too. So. Wow. Yeah, you can tell us what you bought at the end of the video online yeah. if you can, if you want. Yeah. So, yeah, there's so much shit he's buying and I'm only getting like free stuff. Yeah. Not for free. Like, I free. shouldn't I shouldn't be doing that, but But you know what? Know, it's an addiction. That's movie buffs. That's always their addiction. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, also we got The Grudge that came out of even nice that, which is one of the worst movies of this year with Fantasy Island in my opinion. Got Evil Dead. Evil Dead 2 is one of my favorite horror films. I haven't films. seen a single Evil Dead film, but I want to watch them. Like, watch Evil Dead 2. No, because... I want to watch, watch them all. Yeah, but my recommendation Evil Dead 2 has nothing to do with the first one. It felt like a remake of the I first one. I'm also going to pick up Crawl as well because Crawl is one of my favorite horror films of last year. So, yeah, screw it. I'm going to pick this movie up as well. It's only 20 bucks. So, yeah, I got a lot of movies to pick up today, but Evil Dead's probably way more bigger. So, yeah, I don't so, even know if I want to get them all. Yeah, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah, he's got to decide now. But I don't know if yeah, I let's just. I don't know. So Ethan's now deciding which movie he wants to pick up. Now the Back to the Future ones are hey, gone. Hey, look, the freaking um, the digital codes expired. Well, don't worry about the digital. No, code. I don't care. It's just like I know, I know with like these discounted Blu-rays. Yeah, like, yeah, the ones yeah. That you know. Yeah, so now he's deciding which one he's picking up. I already got a couple of things to pick up, so. Yeah, so he's going to decide now what to pick up and we'll find out what he's got at the end of this video. So for now, 
let's head on out of here. Boom, we made it out of there. Like, Ethan's got a lot of stuff. Yeah. I got a lot of stuff. We'll show you later. But now let's just have lunch. Yeah. Let's have sushi. So, hell yeah. Before we have lunch, let's look at this bookstore that Ethan is interested in. So, what are you looking for, Ethan? Live and let die. The Live and let die. He the loves book. James Bond, yeah. if you don't know him from the last video. Mm -hmm. So, he loves reading the James Bond books. So, we're going well, to go find it. Yet. I haven't started yet. Yeah, but we're going to go find Live and Let Die. Yeah. So, hell yeah. We got a bunch of these Stephen King looking, cool looking covers that were cool. I've read um, a couple like Christine, The Shining especially. They're really good books. They Ethan, don't have it. They don't have it. They don't Aww. have it. Which is sad, that's alright. So, just I'll, buy it online. Yeah, I'll get on. That's how I got this in around. Aww, it. rest in peace, Live and Let Die book. <laughs> anyway, let's go get lunch. So we're going to be getting some sushi right now. Look at that. Look at that. So we're eating sushi right now. Um, <laughs> trying to eat without grossing people out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. So yeah, we're eating sushi right now because the food court is not available. So we had to eat outside in this really nice view. It's pretty nice. It's pretty overcasted though. So yeah, this is my sushi I got. Um, so yeah, let's eat and continue on with this adventure. So what sushi you got, Ethan? <laughs> Just let him swallow yeah. his food. At least he chews with his mouth closed. Um, yeah, because I'm good. I'm a good guy. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, so which ones you got? Uh, I had, I just had salt and squid. I think if that's, I think that's what it's called. I don't remember. Yeah. Um, panko prawn, which is this one, I believe. I don't remember. Yeah. California and Toba. That salad that looks really good. Seaweed salad. Good. Seaweed salad. Oh, it's so I, good. And I got some spicy tuna. I got regular tuna and I got seafood. Another seafood one, which is my favorite. So let's eat and continue on this adventure, right? Yeah. And by the way, your Scarface t-shirt is so fucking bad. Thanks. Just done eating, so we're gonna go Big W, right, Ethan? Yeah. And see what they got in there. Big W. Okay, we're in the movie section. Uh, it's just the... Yeah, just... Oh, God damn it. God damn God damn it. See if you can find a Once Upon a Time in Hollywood like soundtrack. Well, it's not there. There's Toy Story 4 though. You can get that. Nope. <laughs> Do you like Toy Story 4? I haven't seen it. <laughs> Jesus, you haven't seen a lot of movies. I know, I've been so caught up in a lot but of look, stuff. But look, we also got the Star Wars covers in Big W. I thought they were only sold in Big W. Um, JB Hi-Fi, sorry. So that's pretty cool. Um, but I already have the box set, so forget about it. Lots of kid stuff? Yeah, what, kids. You, you want Annie? Do you want Annie? You want Angry Birds? Yeah, you want Annie? You want Angry you want Birds? You want you Alvin want? and Chimons the Roadshow? I don't want Alvin and Chimons the Roadshow, by the way. This is one of the greatest movies of all time. Oh, it's you know? so good. I know it has Oscar winning Jason Lee, oh, and it has Oscar winning oh, somebody, so and it has Oscar winning chipmunks that give people rabies, so Oscar I was definitely picking this up. So I'm definitely picking so this movie up. It's one of the greatest movies of all time. It's definitely better than Jumanji. Absolutely better than Jumanji. So it's better. better. It's better than Spy. It's absolutely better than Spy. Is it better than Remember Me? No. <laughs> oh, you know something else? That's it. I'm just kidding. Because you suck. Boss Baby. Oh man, The Boss Baby. One of the greatest movies. I'm, this is definitely better than Alvin and Chipmunks, The Road Chef, The Boss Baby with Baby Alec Baldwin that looks like a freaking idiot. I'm so excited to get to that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look, Ethan, Ethan, my buddy or pal, I found another great movie. Tooth Fairy 1 and 2. Oh, I love the first movie. one. Was I love so good. the second one. It's so much better. Larry, the cable guy who played Mater in the Cars movies. Maybe. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna pick this up. I have to be serious. I'm gonna pick this up. Actually, I might get this one. Too. Which one you're getting? The Meg. The Megalit. Not as good as Two Fairy Two. Oh. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. Now I'm just kidding, guys. I'm not getting that shit. <laughs> you know what's better than the Meg, Ethan? What? what? Cats. cats. Oh man. I'm definitely picking this oh, up. Oh, those cats were just. Look at that. Look at so that. Good. That looks like a masterpiece it's right so there. Good. Yep, I'm gonna pick up cats. I'm not joking. I'm gonna pick it up. Oi. So Ethan is buying all the stuff that he wants from here. He bought more stuff from here. So yeah. Holy shit. Ethan has bought some more shit. More shit. <laughs> show him the car. Show him the car. Yeah, we're going to show him the car. But dude, you got to stop buying a lot of movies, I man. I know. I know. It's an addiction. I know. I know. I, just, I can't help myself. This is like his drug, basically. Yeah. It's, oh, I just... That's his cocaine movies. That's his yep. type of thing. Yeah. Yeah, we have to go here for exit. So now I guess we're done for this boo hunting. So let's show us... Let's show everyone what we got, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's get to the car. Woo! 
we're in the car right now, and yes, we got a lot of shit. Yeah. So let's start off with me because Ethan's got way more than me. And it's his channel, so. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yes, this is a pretty good blue hunting. It's a good comeback to the blue hunting videos. Yeah. That I haven't done for months. So I'm just going to go for random. So the first movie I picked up is Crawl, which is honestly one of my favorite horror movies of last year. It's very underrated. Sam Raimi produced this film. It's basically um, a film about the tsunami and alligator. It's basically Sharknado with alligators, but they did this much better than that piece of shit. So, <laughs> that movie was good. Next one I got is to complete the Bad Boys series. I got Bad Boys for Life, the new Bad Boys movie. Um, surprisingly, really good film, and Ethan hasn't seen much Bad Boys movies. So, if I, I could give him my highest recommendation, Bad Boys for Life. It's one, to me, one of my favorite movies of the year so far, because I thought... It did something different with it. It's still funny. The action is still great. And Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. They just... Great return for Martin Lawrence, especially. Um, next, um, regretting to pick this movie up, but I'm a completionist, so I picked up Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, it's definitely on my worst list. <laughs> it's on the my... Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, that's what he even calls it. Skywalker. Yeah, but he hasn't seen it. Yeah. That's good. I don't want to watch it. I, I, um, it has good moments. I think Attack of Clones is way worse than this, but this is definitely a fan-based film for the sake of doing a fan-based film. So, yeah, Rise of Skywalker. Really disappointing conclusion to the Skywalker saga. And last movie I picked up is 1917. This is one of my favorite war films from the last decade, Sam Mendes. This is all in one shot. This is a film that took place in one-shot perspective. And Sam, um, Sam Mendes, who directed Skyfall, and, and um, Spectre, he directed this and movie. And wrote a petition. Yes, wrote a petition. Wrote to petition and, was it, like American Beauty? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, like yeah but movie. I think this is one of his best films, yeah. like, now. All right, so, Ethan, show us all your shit. All right, so, from <laughs> Big W, I bought um, the Meg, because it was, like, six bucks. So yes, Jason said Um, I don't usually buy DVDs, but I thought, you know what, whatever, I'll just get them. I bought some Elvis movies. So. Holy shit. Well, um, girl, girls, 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 fun in... He's El a big El Elvis fan. fan. No, I'm not. Mel well, I'm not a big Elvis fan, but I've always wanted to watch the films because I only watched like. Yeah, I've, I've only seen like two. I've seen a couple at my grandma's house. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I wanted to check them out. So yeah, yeah. girls, 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 fun in. I can't read it. <laughs> I'm so fucking dumb today. Um, King Carol, GI Blues, cool. and Blue Hawaii, and Rasta Rasta Bout. Is that how you say oh, it? Oh, sorry, I didn't Rasta see it. Rast Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Elvis movies. You got yeah, Elvis, Elvis movies. movies. I wanted so, because there's not many of them on Blu-ray. Yeah, honest. yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. So now JB Hi-Fi. Now JB Hi-Fi. So I bought the Final Destination Final Five Film Collection. Yes. Um, Good horror the movies. Scream Complete Collection. Yeah, I have that on my Blu-ray. Um, the Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. I haven't seen it, but I've seen. Was it? I've heard great things about that. I've movie. seen uh, Seven Psychopaths. The other. Is the, this the Coen Brothers? No, it is. It's some other dude. Um, what is it? I thought it's, it looks like a Coen Brothers film. No, it's not. What um, is it? It's the same director as Seven Psychopaths. Oh yeah, that's a good movie. That's uh, I like. I love that movie. That was, that was a really underrated I film. I really liked Highest it. recommendation for ITV. Um, to, to get more cinema cults with the slip covers, I got Eight Millimeter with Nicholas Cage. Yeah. Because yeah, I see this one every time I go to JB. I always see this one everywhere, yeah. and it's like uh, I had to pick it up at some point. But the every time I King. never felt. What? The new Tiger King. I, was I don't know anything. I don't know about, if that's a I rumor. Don't, I don't even know anything about Tiger King. Like, what's with this Tiger King? I don't crap? know. Comment down below. Uh, what's so great about Tiger what's King? What's so good about it? I don't care. Um, I forgot he bought that too. Yeah, and I've got Pretty Poison because it was like ten bucks and it's cinema, cinema cult with he a slip cover. Cinema cult. Yeah, because I want to get the cinema cults with the slip covers. Yeah, because yeah, they, I, do they look, don't do slip covers anymore. They have really good slip covers. Like, look at it. Look at it. It it's, just looks it's, pretty. It's so know? art. You, you don't get this on Netflix. This is why. This is why. Well, Twenty Century Fox. This is why. Yeah, before they. Disney fucking Yeah, I up. love... I wish they could make slip covers like that for my Blu-rays, like Star Wars vs. Skywalker. I would buy them. I don't care if they are bad. I would just like the slip covers. I want the slip because there's some of the some of them was just like... Some of the cinema cults I bought um, without the slip cover. Yeah, but like yeah. I bought like Dark Man and I bought Dark Man 2, which... Is, yeah. Dark Man 2 I just didn't like. The yeah. first one was okay, but it looked really interesting. Yeah, Dark Man was like, And I got like This Island Earth for Christmas... With a, like that's a 50 sci-fi movie and that didn't come with a slipcover. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. like I still I still want to get them. Yeah, the yeah. Cults. All I right. just like the label. Yeah, alright. So guys, that is it. Blu-ray hunting is back. We I'm so happy we did another Blu-ray hunting video. Thanks to Ethan for returning yep. for his Blu-ray hunting video. And he'll probably be in most of my Blu-ray hunting videos by the looks of it. 
Yeah, I hope yeah, because yeah. because he wants to do one again. So I'm like, yeah, I'm bringing yep. along. So guys, thank you guys for watching. Um, yes, I know I haven't made videos in a long time, but it's because of this coronavirus bullshit. But good news, yep. Hoyts is open. It's going to open uh, soon. It wasn't, it wasn't. Yeah, soon. Yeah. Yeah, soon. Yeah. Not now. But not it's now. Go, but it's going to reopen soon. So yeah. I can still watch 2020 movies and review them for you guys. But for now. I'm going to see what I'm going to do for my channel while this quarantine is going on. But anyway, mm -hmm. once again, thanks to Ethan for joining me. Yeah. Thank you for watching this Blu-ray hunting video. It's so good to be back for Blu-ray hunting. I love... It's one of my favorite things to do on my channel. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel notify for my latest videos. And, you ready? You remember yeah. the ending? What, what was it? Oh, it was that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, ready? I remember. Have a nice day. <laughs> I didn't do it right.